Hey everybody, welcome to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. My name is Greg Sykes. I am, I guess you would call, the host here of the Washington Football Maniacs channel. This channel has been alive since about December of 2019, I believe. Um, also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, and when you do, hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release. And with that said, let's get into today's video. So today, of course, we're talking about Antonio Gibson for the most part. Um, Antonio Gibson has been... I won't say relegated, but I, I will say that he has been uh, put on kickoff uh, or kick return duties. Um, and it's not necessarily, I think, punishment, but I think it's just that he's going to be the best man for the job. I've, I've noticed that, you know, in the past few years, uh, this has always been kind of a... a <laughs> you know, hit or miss for this uh, Washington franchise is to really find a good punt returner, kick returner, and things like that. Uh, every now and then we see flashes of somebody who can be really good in that position and we just can't seem to keep those players. Um, DeAndre Carter last year, fantastic uh, in punt returns and, you know, things like that. And I think we've put... Uh, uh, Humphreys back in there um, so you know we've tried plenty of people and I think uh, having your running back a running back uh, for kickoff returns is probably going to be the best thing for us and Antonio Gibson um, he should be able to do pretty well with this now certainly the question mark is going to be fumbling you don't want your kickoff returner to fumble the football. And that's going to be a problem. Then. May that, maybe that is part of the test for an Antonio Gibson as well. You know, because if you can, if you're going to actually be returning the kicks, because, you know, let's face it, nowadays in the NFL, at least 80% of the kicks are not returnable. They all go into the end zone and then no one wants to return them because you got, you're, you're spotted at the 25 yard line, right? So, you know, why would you want to give up field position? Then sometimes kickoff uh, players are like, you know, screw that, you know, just, I want, I want to try to make a play and then they usually wind up not even making it back to the 20 yard line. So, I think that part of that, maybe it is a little bit of a punishment, but I think also it's, it's a test to see if Antonio Gibson can hold on to the football as he's returning kickoffs. Maybe this will help him in, you know, what I call day-to-day -day plays as a running back. And he's still a fantastic player. If he could just hold on to the football... Antonio Gibson is weapon. And I think that you'll also, of course, you'll continue to see Antonio Gibson being worked into the playbook, right? You're not going to see him as the, the workhorse running back. Right now, that's going to be uh, Brian Robinson. I think he's already more than proved his ability that he's going to be the workhorse guy. He's going to be your RB1. But Antonio Gibson, he's going to be that guy who could probably wind up being... Um, your your running back who lines up in the slot, um, you know, just your option type of back, things like that, you know, pass receiver out of the backfield, that sort of thing. I think that's uh, where Antonio Gibson's going to really excel in. And so I think right now just having him straight up receiving, you know, just – getting the, the ball handed off to him in, in the backfield. He struggled with that because he wants to kind of dance around. And I just think right now, maybe in some respects, he has struggled to make that transition more than what we thought. And, and you know, that's okay. That's okay. Um, I think he's still a valuable player for us. And I think that Ron Rivera understands that Antonio Gibson is a very valuable player for us. So, we got our kickoff return, right? So uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's going to return punts as well. 
maybe. Um, I can't remember. I need to go back and listen to the uh, uh, the press conference uh, with Ron Rivera. And some of you guys can correct me certainly in the uh, comments section if he's going to return punts as well. Um, you know, sometimes you have a different guy who's returning punts as opposed to kickoff returns, and um, maybe that he's just going to be a kickoff specialist or a kick specialist in general. So, you know, return specialist, I uh, should say. So that that is pretty much all I have to say with, uh, uh, you know, Antonio Gibson. I think that... Um, I think that we have a good solid uh, plan for him. I really do. And I think because that we have Brian uh, Robertson and the fact that he seems so solid, um, I think that we are, and, and of course, let's not forget about J.D. McKissick. Uh, you know, having J.D. McKissick back and Jared Patterson, he's still in the mix as well. I mean, we have we are not hurting whatsoever in the backfield at all. Uh, the The running game should be very strong for us, and this is great news for the Washington Commanders. This is great news for the offense in general. I mean, honestly, Carson Wentz is going to have plenty of weapons. He's not going to have to. It's, we're not going to have to rely on Carson Wentz, honestly, because you're going to have a strong running game. So, that being said, let me know in the comments section what you think. Um, Antonio Gibson being a, a kickoff returner, being a punt returner, maybe. I don't know. Just a just a return specialist in general. Um, is this punishment, or is this just something that we found a good wrinkle for him? Uh, again, subscribe to the Washington Football Maniacs. Hit the notification bell. So you will not miss any of my videos. Thank you. Continue sub subscribing and supporting me. If you want to know how to support me, then do it by this. Seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me.